Skills Weekends introduce post-secondary students to health care in rural Alberta communities. They also give students a taste of the rural lifestyle. <laughs> Who is invited? Students enrolled in health-related programs at Alberta universities, colleges, and technical institutions. These events are driven by the local Attraction and Retention Committee. To get the ball rolling, the committee contacts RPAP. Our goal is to make it easy. Our community consultant for your area will provide your committee with information sheets that outline everything that needs to be done. Welcome guys! Our consultant is with you all the way from day one of planning right through to the end of the actual event. RPAP will hire and pay for a bus to bring the students to your community. Skills events are usually held at the local health care facility, so the site manager needs to be actively involved they will look after recruiting health professionals to be instructors at the skill stations. Rural businesses and organizations often donate refreshments and snacks for the students. Saturday morning typically starts with a tour of the hospital. Then the students split up into smaller groups and head to one of the skill stations. As for supplies, RPAP provides the majority of materials that are needed. Things like pork ox for suturing, IV and catheterization simulators, needles, and more. Skill stations give students hands on exposure to the kinds of things healthcare providers do in their work. They're eager to learn skills that they'll need to know after they graduate. It's also an opportunity for them to ask what it's like to practice in rural Alberta, why they love it, and what job opportunities exist in the community. The local attraction and retention committee arranges lunch. RPAP picks up the tab. No, that's okay. Skills continue during the afternoon. Afterwards, the students are often given goodie bags with souvenirs and brochures that promote the local community. Saturday evening, the community hosts supper and entertainment. This is amazing, amazing community. It's an opportunity for local health professionals to share their story. And a time for fun. Anything from magicians, Come on now. to game shows, to local bands, to drag racing, to a bull bash. Why not? This is a golden opportunity to showcase your community. This is kind of selling me on coming here because I love being by the lake. Students overnight in local hotels or perhaps with local billets, like here in Tofield. If it's a hotel, RPAP covers that cost too. Sunday morning, more fun. Show the students what your community has to offer. Let them partake in local recreational opportunities. Think things that are active, horse riding, a visit to a local farm, Skeet shooting. Firing a shotgun for the first time will be something they won't soon forget. Time for a photo op. Then back on the bus around noon for the ride home. The takeaways? The majority of students are amazed to discover that most rural health care providers work to full scope of practice. And how well they work together as a team. Someone's always got your back, the locals say. It's also less formal here. Exactly, Doctors yeah. are often called by their first name. Most students have an amazing experience. I absolutely loved it, actually. It's been an absolute blast. For some, this is their first visit to rural Alberta. They leave impressed by the local hospitality and the family feel of working together in healthcare in rural Alberta. I actually realized how much I enjoy living in smaller places um, and the different opportunities you get. Skills Day was amazing. Uh, you get to see a lot of things that you don't typically get to see. Yep, rural's the way that I want to go for sure. Interested in hosting a Skills Weekend in your community? Contact one of our rural community consultants to get started. Don't delay. These events are very popular and only a limited number are held each year. <laughs>